I am Shorab. Uh, recently, I got placed in Amdocs India Private Limited. This so this was a full campus. Two colleges were there. So uh, the first round was online round. You can give the round uh, first round from your home also. The, the exam was monitored by the webcam. So the first round was very technical round, but not that much technical. Also very basic technical, but covering all the topics like Linux command, networking, DBMS. Algorithms, object oriented programming, all the things, MCQ questions, only one coding question, very simple coding question was there. Like my coding question was about one link list that how many nodes are there in that link list. The time limit for the exam was prox 1 hour 30 minutes. So after the after uh, one gets selected in that round, you will be called for the technical interview. The technical interview was almost about 40 to 45 minutes. He asked me about some uh, basic coding questions. First, he asked me about my project, what project I have done. So, there was an, one project about the cinema hall ticket distribution system. So, he asked me about that project only, but extending my project, he asked me some more concept. Like, uh, I have implemented the project only for simple ticket distribution. So, he asked me about a question like, suppose a family comes with three or four members, you will be uh, assigning the family the ad, uh, adjacent seat uh, obviously if he, uh, one is a family with, uh, one family is there then he, they will be like to get in the adjacent seat and you have to maximize the, your profit given that three classes of seats are there gold bronze and silver with different prices after that he asked me some more questions on coding like uh, you will be given a number and if the number is divisible by three then print fees if the number is divisible by 5, print bus. If the number is divisible by 15, then fees bus. After that, uh, two, three more question, coding question was there. Then he uh, he also told me try to write the code along with the algorithm. Then he discussed the algorithm, which uh, solution is better. Then write the code for that algorithm. After that, he moves on to the DBMS part. And he asked me some basic question, basic queries about the DBMS, like finding out the second highest element in them second highest element in the table given that the uh, column of that element is integer after that he asked me some question like you, if you give uh, select count zero so select count star then it will count all the rows of that table so he asked me if i give instead of star zero like select count zero what will happen so he asked me a question like that but some tricky question after that he moves on to the uh, Linux part, some Linux basics command and he asked me and he asked me about networking and other topics of computer science. Then he discusses about, so this was the technical round. After the technical round, after half an hour, I got the result for my selection in the technical round and I was called to the HR interview. So the HR interview was very simple. He started with very basic questions about my family background, about my, uh, about my languages I know what languages I can speak or like, what are my mother tongue, like that simple questions. Mm -hmm. Then he asked me about the location constraint. Then he asked me about uh, any uh, question I want to ask him, ask him about uh, the company. Uh, so I asked some basic questions like, is there any facility to play some game or like this? And he was very satisfied. Uh, after the HR round, I got the result uh, after one hour and I was selected along with five other students from CSE. So if you want to crack any interview uh, by C in CS or IT, so you should learn about uh, any language. Start with C, that is very easy. And you should you will get hand no handful knowledge about the C. After getting handful knowledge of, about the C, then you should go to the C++ to learn about the object-oriented programming. And after learning uh, object-oriented programming, you should learn about algorithms and you should learn about data structure you should master in data structure mm, and after learning ma uh, mastering in data structure and algorithms you should go to competitive coding like you should uh, co code in hacker rank code shape or uh, spodge like like this type of website you should go hacker art is also very good you should go in that in these sites and you should code so you get after after competitive coding you will get a lot of knowledge about the algorithm and you will your knowledge will get refined every day 
if you port every day you knowledge will get refined every day so you doing this and maintaining a good c gpa you certainly get a good company in cs and it so thank you engineering knowledge for giving me the opportunity to share my interview experience with you all and if you like uh, find the video helpful then like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you